Hi, Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. In my wood turning, I like to combine different te techniques and, and methodologies and do in different ways. Uh, years ago, I made a drunken segmented vase. It was really hard to do because the segments were, the, the rings were uneven and really, really hard to glue up. They kept slip sliding all over the place. Uh, I also teach now a, a, a remote demonstration to clubs on Celtic knots. And so I decided to combine a little bit and segment it a little bit to make this one. Took advantages of different things. One, in segmenting, I don't have to deal with the entire piece all at once. So I built this and did a ring, built this, did a ring, built this, did a ring, so that I didn't have to go all the way down there at the bitter end when it's really, really hard to do. So let's turn this segmented drunken vase today. One of the advantages of segmented work is that the size of the starting block of wood does not matter. On the other hand, it does take some time and work to prepare. Other advantages later. For now, I am using my update segmented sled to cut trapezoidal segments. Eight segments per ring. The updated sled uses T-track instead of rotted grooves. Same principles and operation. Please see last week's video for details on how I glue segmented rings together. For this project, I do not want to glue the entire vessel together up. After preparing the base, I can start gluing rings together. I plan to glue them one by one or two and alternate with slicing to get a drunken, twisted look. After adding alignment blocks with hot melt glue, I can make my first cut. This process is scaled back from my Celtic knot process. I cut very slowly to minimize pressure on the bandsaw blade. Then glue in a short ring of walnut between the two pieces. The alignment blocks keep the rings from slip sliding around. Rather than waiting for more rings and a then much deeper and more difficult reach, I can waste off the positioning rings and refine the interior cavity, especially at the bottom that I can easily reach now. Then glue on another maple ring. Then after rotating the wood 120 degrees and offsetting the sled for a new parallel position, I can make another cut. After gluing in another walnut ring, I can add enough maple rings to contain another cut. How about another cut? Again, after rotating the vase an additional 120 degrees and offsetting the sled by another equal amount. And so on until I feel it is tall enough. With all that preparation, the actual turning is almost anticlimactic. I have already wasted off the positioning rings and added the top ring. I use my large bull gouge. I rarely use a push cut on segment pieces. Instead, I find a shear cut works best for me. A shear cut is with the handle very low and the cutting wing of the gouge nearly vertical to the spinning wood. Another faceplate on the live center provides additional support. I clean up the interior with a heavy box scraper, then sand by hand up through the grits. Now to part off the vase from the faceplate, but I do not want to totally separate it while spinning on the lathe. A handsaw finishes the job. After cleaning up the vase's base, a coat of walnut oil makes the wood color pop. This project required much more clock time than actual time turning the wood. Fortunately, I could work on other projects while glue dried. I think that with segmented construction, I can achieve a unique look that is worth the effort. I, can, I teach a remote demonstration on the Celtic knots. This drunken vase is a scaled back process that ignores two of the three rules of the full Celtic knot process. However, once I know the rules, I can choose when to violate one or more of them for a special look. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends about my videos. I appreciate your comments and questions. Every week I add a new wood turning video to my website. Always, please wear your full face shield anytime the lathe is running. A face shield saved my life. It can save yours, but only if you use it. Then I will see you again next week.